The distortion effect you just heard was completely implemented in software on an Arduino Giga R1. Implementing distortion effects on software is actually quite easy. All we need is some sort of equation that models the behavior of one or more diodes in circuit. One of many possible models is shown here. It's a step function containing a linear part, a quadratic part, and a hard clipping constant part. As this equation only produces clipping for positive signals, for something like dual diode symmetrical clipping, we need to add another equation, which is basically just the equation shown before multiplied by negative one. If the output of those two combined equations is plotted as a function of input voltage, it's very clear that the behavior is very similar to two anti-parallel diodes with very hard clipping for any value exceeding two thirds of a volt. Much softer clipping is produced by the natural exponent function shown right here. It's a step function adaptation of this equation shown right here, which doesn't really like to play well with zeros, but is found on the internet for distortion algorithms. The behaviors of the first step function shown in this video and the natural exponential step function are plotted here. Again, the output voltage is shown as a function of input voltage. The green curve in the graph goes off on a tangent, the hyperbolic tangent to be precise, which as you can see, is also a possible model for diode clipping behavior. To get an idea what resulting output waveforms of all algorithms shown might look like, a two volt peak sine wave was applied to all three equations and the result plotted here. The hardest clipping level and therefore the highest amount of distortion is caused by the step function shown at the beginning of the video. The natural exponential step function is a lot more soft and the hyperbolic tangent function seems to be the one causing the least amount of distortion. The new Arduino Giga R1 Wi-Fi makes the perfect platform for trying out all equations shown in a DSP algorithm. The two integrated 12-bit digital to analog converters make it possible to evaluate two of the algorithms shown at the same time. The Giga R1 was kindly provided by today's sponsor, Elector. The entire Arduino sketch is pretty straightforward and can be downloaded from the link in the video description. The main loop continuously collects samples at a fixed sample rate from analog to digital converter zero. The collected samples are then passed to two different clipping functions, namely the step equation shown at the beginning of the video and the natural exponential function. All incoming samples are first normalized to the threshold level given in the function's parameters and the individual steps of the step functions are implemented using if and else if statements. The corresponding operation for the step selected is then executed the value is denormalized and passed back to the main function, which then stacks the values onto the DMA buffer of the corresponding digital to analog converter. After compiling and uploading the sketch to the Giga R1, a signal generator is used to generate a 1 kHz sine wave with varying amplitude. The output from the signal generator is then input into the ADC zero pin of the Giga R1. The test signal as well as the outputs from DAC0 and DAC1 are then connected to an oscilloscope. The top trace shows the output from the signal generator, the trace in the middle shows the step equation shown at the beginning of the video, and the bottom trace shows the output of the natural exponential function. Just as expected from the simulation plot, the first function goes into clipping a whole lot quicker and a whole lot harsher, while the second function produces much softer clipping. The DSP algorithm used for the guitar riff in the intro of this video is the more harsh sounding and harder clipping step function shown at the beginning of the video. If you like this video, please take a second to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming digital signal processing videos. For instance, my video on how to implement a tremolo effect using the Arduino Giga R1.